Hello everyone. Uh, today we are going to see how we can use Selenium and Salesforce together, uh, and we can see how it can be used in automatic automation testing as well. So uh, this video tutorial and the article on my blog is a multi series where uh, today is being a part one. I will start with the basic and then I will go on more advanced level. So. Uh, Testing has always been an integral part, I will say, in each software development uh, and Salesforce has already taken it to the next level and as you know in Salesforce we already have a mandatory requirement there where before code deployment and before pushing anything on, on app exchange a minimum code coverage should be 75%. Now this code coverage can only test your Apex or custom custom code. However, uh, we don't have any such uh, proper tool or I will say most of people does not know about the proper tool how we can test a user interface or the standard functionality of Salesforce and most of time we end up using manual testing. So uh, my agenda to this article is uh, to educate or to demonstrate how we can use and how easy it is to use a selenium so first question comes here uh, what is selenium so selenium is a framework or i will say it's a software which can be leveraged to uh, test of web applications so whatever we are testing these days manually by checking the fields and the page layouts that can be easily tested with selenium and one more thing is uh, the audience for uh, this article or to learn selenium you are not necessarily needed to be a developer uh, admin can also easily start with selenium and of course uh, testers as well so the question comes here how selenium can benefit us now as i said a selenium can be used for the automation testing however there are many scenarios let's take one of example we deploy a code between sandbox or from sandbox to production not each and everything can be bundled together in and script or a change set there are some manual steps now every time you have to go and you have to do some manual settings we can use a script here we can use a selenium and which will automatically run every time after the deployment second scenario i can think of is like a creating some sample data when the sandbox is refreshed uh, from uh, production and let's say the sandbox is not a full copy sandbox there are some let's say uh, manual settings let's say let's take example changing the email deliverability or changing some uh, email ids of the some users and a uh, different different settings that can be also easily done with the help of selenium so i will start with the demo on how to install the selenium and how to use it so uh, first of all we have to understand that to use a selenium we need a firefox browser because it comes with a firefox itself and we have to download and install the firefox browser from this location and once a firefox browser is installed you can so let me go to my firefox first so i have already installed a firefox so once you install a firefox you can search for selenium ide and this is the home page for selenium ide you have to click here and if you scroll scroll down here the section is selenium id and you have to click on this url once you click on this url a window will prompt asking to install the selenium id and once it is installed you need to restart a firefox and this small icon will appear so uh, i'm trying to open the ide here so this is how selenium id looks like so if you have any test already recorded you can open it directly or you can start with the recording a new test let's see uh, how we can record it so in ide we see a log section here uh, let's clear it if i have any previous log and then whatever the command uh, help help will appear here and all those informations so i am clicking on here and i am saying uh, okay record it so whatever i am performing right now on mozilla at the back 
background it will start recording my steps so i am going login dot salesforce dot com after that it says login with a different username and uh, so username i am saying here and then password then i'm saying login so simple script i'm going to uh, create here i should be able to log into salesforce i should be able to click on the plus button and then i should be just able to open an opportunity home page and that's it so i just click on plus button and then i am clicking on opportunity here and that's it and let's see if uh, selenium can replicate all these my steps so i am saying okay stop it and let's try to rerun here if it is able to mimic all my actions so i am saying okay let's first save this so i am saying uh, hello world and selenium scripts are actually saved as html file so make extension as html uh, let me try here so at the background if you see it's happening it was able to log in now here is a problem so right color so this is very no normal in uh, selenium once you record uh, the websites are actually very dynamic and it's very challenging selenium may not able to uh, uh, it may not able to replicate so we have to manually uh, change some part here so let me filter my steps first of all if you see this step password is duplicate so let me delete uh, one step so I just open a browser I provided a link and then uh, I provided a username password and it was logged in and then it waited for this plus button now the problem here is like it is trying to uh, search this on the basis of css so we should uh, change this the best way to search is by id so just f click on the find button and if you see it starts highlighting the elements so here is a plus button so I, once you click here it will provide you many option okay on which pa uh, how you want to search it so i am saying most of the time x path is the best way i am saying okay let's search on the basis of x path or if there is id parameter available you, you could choose that one also so let's you can try any of the luck so let's say x path okay and now let's try to uh, run okay let's save it try to run our script again so I am going back here. I am saying, let's run it again. Let's log in. Okay. Still, it is not working. Now, the only reason I think it's not working is like when we are successfully logged in. It is possible this whole page is actually rendered by Ajax. Lazy loading, I will say. And once the page is loaded, it is possible that the plus button is not. Uh, this button this plus button is not available instantly what we can do is uh, let me see so um, we can inform okay let's insert a st new command manually so this is a new command and we will ask a salesforce to wait so i will say wait for element i'm i'm saying okay let's wait for element present so do not go ahead until this element is not appearing again click on select and search for your element i am saying this is the element we need to wait and the name of element is nothing but id ide all tab so we have included this extra step here now save again Let's try to rerun.
and yeah <laughs> we done it if we see this is a green color here that means it was able to replicate each and every step so if we see this is how easy it is to use a selenium of course you may encounter one or two problems let's say most of the error i have seen is selenium element is not able to found and most of the time this technique works which ju i just use we can use a command wait for element present and just provide an ide also there are multiple choices to search for element like we have seen here uh, you can search by css you can search by other options also and it depends on your scenario which option will work which option will not work so uh, that's it my friend uh, this is how easy it is to start with selenium and uh, if you have any query any problem let me know and very soon i will be uh, coming with the part 2 and and so on thanks for watching the watching this please subscribe to my youtube video and i would love your feedback on this video